Hi my loves, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name's Anushka. Now today's video is all about eyeshadow for beginners. I'm gonna be talking you through each step and what brushes I like to use. Everything will be linked in the info box for you guys. And today's just gonna be a classic matte eyeshadow look. And I really go for this eyeshadow look for when I'm like, I have a casual cute day out or even for glam and I just want a more matte classic eye. Today's personification shout out is gonna to go to Nivita Pungavanam. I hope I said your name right. Please correct me in the comments below if I've said it wrong. Uh, but thank you so much for your sweet comment. I really appreciate it. And if you guys want to get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button, and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so. I do want to thank Nordic Naturals for partnering with me on this video. I've been trying their collagen peptides powder. This is actually a product from their beauty range. Now what I like to do is put a scoop in either a smoothie or my coffee in the morning. I have a really sensitive stomach so I'm really happy that this hasn't bugged me in any way. Um, you really can't taste it, it hasn't got a flavour or anything. Now this collagen peptides powder gives type 1 and type 3 collagen peptides that are easily absorbed. This will actually help to stimulate collagen production, replenish your collagen stores and it's just going to be really really good for your skin, your eyes your bone health. So it claims to support skin health and elasticity. If you don't know already, collagen is something you find in your skin. And the older you get, you kind of lose that collagen. So this is really gonna help stimulate that collagen um, production as long as possible. So yeah, this is really gonna help support healthy and beautiful skin. I love that there's not many ingredients in there. You know exactly what's in it. There's only, uh, yeah, there's only one ingredient, guys. Um, there's no gluten, milk derivatives, or artificial colours or flavours. I love that. It's just really simple. You can't taste it. And it's just like a nice supplement to have, really. There are some really nice amino acids in here, too. You get a lot of good protein. And yeah, I just recommend it, guys, if you're looking for a good supplement. I'll leave the link in the info box if you guys are interested. But, you know, as your girl's getting a bit older, I'm definitely looking into things like this. Um, and they say that your collagen production starts to kind of go down. Um, or you kind of lose that collagen um, once you reach 25 and I'm going I'm 26 now so it's never too early to take a uh, supplement so yeah I'm all about this guys so if you guys are interested I'll leave a link in the info box and thank you to Nordic Naturals for sponsoring today's video so yeah guys let's jump into the eyeshadow tutorial all right guys I'm now up close and personal so you guys can really see what I'm doing I will be going through brushes with you guys because I feel like that is one key part to getting beautiful blended eyeshadow um, and I would say that my most favorite favorite brushes when I really want a good eye are from from Morphe brushes they're so so good they are more on the affordable side you've got such a good variety of like different shapes of brushes for different um, purposes and now there's n there's no like rule to be honest just use the brush like I would just say use the brushes that you feel comfortable with and that gives you the look that you want but I found that there are some types of brushes that really help I also do have a lot of brushes guys like this is not even half of my eye brushes i've got so many different ones in here when i first started youtube a lot of my brush sets were brush sets <laughs> brush sets were from amazon and i still have them to today so like for example one of my favorite favorite blending brushes is used <laughs> i have to clean it is this mange 501d i'll link it if i can find it but i don't know if they do these anymore but if you're really 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 on a budget there are some really good um, eye brush sets on Amazon. I'll link them if I can find any. Okay, so the first thing that I always do, guys, is prep my eye. You can use an eye primer or you can use a concealer. My favorite base to use for concealer is either the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer or the Tarte Shape Tape. Tarte Shape Tape is just like a whole other level. So I just like put this all over the lid. Now you can use a beauty blender to blend this out, but I'm gonna be using this brush here so it's quite dense but quite large and fluffy it still has some density so it's gonna blend that concealer really well yeah like i don't have a specific brand for this brush guys but i would say look for this kind of kind of brush shape and it has to be somewhat dense it can't i don't like it when it's too like fluffy and loose so the bristles are tightly packed in this um, and it's just going to blend that concealer really nicely. Today I'm going to be using the By Mario Master Matte Palette. Now I did get this recently but it blends so so beautifully and it has the shades that I need and it, it's just really good to explain with. Um, another, a dupe for this palette actually is one from NYX. I'll link it in the info box. Um, but it's also really really good. I do have it but I just don't know where it is. I have to go sort out my makeup guys. 
Here are some brushes that I really like to use. They're very fluffy and rounded. So this one's a bit smaller and I would recommend for like hooded eyes. And this one's my favorite because it's really, it's like dense, but it blends so nicely. This one's definitely more loose. This one's a NYX 16 brush. Again, this one's a random run from an Amazon set. And then, like I said, this one's the mange brush that I mentioned earlier on. I'm gonna use the NYX brush first and that just fits really nicely in this outer corner bit. The color I'm gonna first use is this one right here. And this is just gonna go right in the crease here. You wanna use your bone, it kinda goes like, it stops here, right? I'm gonna go a bit above that and really blow out this first eyeshadow around here. Now you can have a rounded look or a more v-shaped look just little pressure on the brush guys and just using kind of like circular motions just slowly build that color up another thing you can do is use tape you can use tape like this and then another thing you can do is take a tube and just hold it here like at an angle from like the corner of your eye kind of aim like don't aim too high like this. You want it to go like kind of outward. Blend the eyeshadow like this and this will really help you get like a very clean, sharp line. But because I want a more blown out look, we can just not worry about the corner and just wipe it up with a makeup wipe later on. So I'm bringing this slightly into the crease too. And the higher I go up, the less pressure I use. So when I, when I first apply some shadow on my brush, I really start in the bottom section here. And then as I go up, it's lighter pressure to help create this really blown out look. Now I'm gonna go in with a slightly darker shade. So I think I'm gonna choose this one right here. It's a bit darker than this first shade that we used. And I'm gonna use another fluffy round brush. And we're just gonna really focus that in the same area, but just slightly lower. We're not gonna go as high as we went with the first color, third of the way. Again, a little bit in just under that crease bone. Sometimes just to get a lot of color, I like to just tap the, the shadow first and that's really gonna build up that color nicely. Again, I'm using such light pressure, guys. And as I taper this out, I'm using really light pressure. Like I'm barely touching and it will just create this really nice soft gradient. Now, just to make sure that the outer corners are really nicely blended, I like to go in with a nice, loose, really like tapered fluffy brush. Now, my favorite is uh, the NYX 16 brush, which we first used, but I used that in the as the first step. I also really like the Jaclyn Hill Morphe JH30 brush. It's like the perfect tapered brush. And another one is the Roxy Makeup Revolution. This is like a, from the Roxy Revolution set if you're looking for something a bit more affordable. I wouldn't say it's the same as the Morphe one. The Morphe one is so nice to blend, blend out because it's tapered and it's like loose whilst this one is more flat but they both work for blending and to be honest i just take this as a clean brush and just blend those edges out i'm really pushing that brush on the out upper part of the lid i would say and again using light pressure there come the sun's coming back it's just coming and going now we're going to move to the really dark shade on the outer corner like i said i tend to use three two three or four shades on the um, outer corner but as you slowly go down it will get darker and darker but you want it to be if you look at it if you're looking at it vertically on the outer corner it will go from light to dark if you're looking at the eye horizontally then it's going to go from light to dark so initially you want a darkest shade to be on this outer corner here guys i'm so sorry if the lighting's changing a lot Sun is just doing some crazy things right now okay so the two brushes i like for like the deeper shade i'm going to be using is this morphe brush this is an m507 it's really nice because it's really small and tapered but something a bit uh, different but it's still like nice and fluffy and small is the ColourPop E19. I'm gonna use the Morphe one and I'm gonna grab this dark brown and I'm really gonna just place that on this outer corner section here, kind of like a triangle. I would say use patting motions too. To be honest, you can totally skip this shade if you were happy with what it looked like before. I'm going to use the brush that we used previously for the other shade. Or you can just use any like fluffy brush. You can even go in with a clean brush just to blend those two colours together. Make sure everything is 
it's just melting together really. The reason why I do like to use a previous brush shade is because it just has still a bit of the residue from the previous shade and it's going to help buff that dark shade out. I'm going to use the Colourpop one just to show you guys. I just like to tap it first, move it around that outer corner. You see that blend? Again, going in with my clean brush, I'm just going to blend out those edges, make sure everything's smooth. Then we're going to go in with a light matte shade, or you can use this technique for a shimmer shade or any glitter shades. We're going to put that on the inner third of the eye and make it meet the, the outer corner. I like to use a fluffy kind of flat brush. These are quite flat. And this is a NYX 12 brush, and then this is a, Thri a brush from Thrive Cosmetics. I really like it. It's called an all-over shadow brush. I'm going to take this pretty peach matte shade here, and we're really going to just press this. Oh, we're going to press this on the, the inner corner. And I'm going to go up to my crease bone, basically. And once I get to the darker shades, again, I'm using light pressure and we're just going to slowly blend that into the darker shades. You can even go like higher than your crease bone. That will give you like a really open eye look. And then we have this eye look. So wherever I put this light color, you can put like a shimmery color or you can put like a glitter shade. The sun's really doing my head in, but I hope you can really see the shadow here. Um, my mic is on me now. It wasn't on me this time. Oh my God. Yeah, don't touch it too much. I have a bad habit of like when I'm happy with it, I go in too much and I touch it too much, but I'm happy with this right now. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Then you want to take a makeup wipe or you can put a brush on in my cellar water and just kind of clean up this section here. Look at all that fallout. This is why I do my eyeshadow mostly before my base makeup, so I can easily wipe this off. And then I'm going to just kind of clean this section here so I can get a nice sharp edge. Like so, look at that. Whew. I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Okay, my makeup's done. I've put my lashes on. I'm going to show you what I do on the lower uh, lash line. When I want to be really, really precise, I use this tiny little brush. This is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH42. It's like perfect to get right in there it's so tiny guys and it's just really flat and it's got a slight fluff so i'm gonna take i'm not gonna take the darker shade but i'm gonna take this dark shade right here i don't want to go too dark and i'm just gonna buff that in right in the lash line it doesn't have to be precise guys kind of like smudge it in there because your makeup's done here here make sure not to like put too much eyeshadow on your brush and just slowly build it up i find that when we put eye eyeshadow on our lower lash line it also helps with creasing of eyeshadow because it just sets your concealer more in place this is from one of my amazon sets but i'm, I'm gonna use this kind of like tiny little dense fluffy brush anything that looks like this really and i'm just gonna use this shade i think this is the second shade we use and i'm just gonna buff that in just underneath that dark shade i'm gonna bring it out slightly to connect it to the outer corner here put some mascara and then if you want you can take the lighter shade in the palette this can be shimmery or matte with a little tiny brush and we're just gonna press this on the inner corner I don't really do this with matte eye looks, but you can, I definitely do it with like shimmer looks. I'm not gonna put too much, but this is just gonna bring light to the inner corner. By the way, the lashes I'm wearing are the Eyelore Tiffany 3D Faux Mink Lashes. Of course, everything that I've used today will be used, will be linked in the info box. And that's your eyeshadow done. You can go ahead and apply some eyeliner on your on the top line before you put your lashes on or on the lower waterline um, just to really intensify the look. But you can use this technique again, like keep the, the outer portion will be the same, but you can always change the inner corner with, like I said, a metallic, a glitter, 
anything you want really. Um, I really hope this video was somewhat helpful. So yeah, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already so you can join the family. Give this video a like and let me know in the comments below what you thought about this video. Do you want me to do the same for different type of eye looks like a halo eye, a cut crease, a graphic liner look, a video. I had so much fun filming this video for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.